three bad reasons to not take a gap year in 2020. Start the timer. The first bad reason not to take a gap year in 2020 is you haven't planned anything now. That sounds like most university students anyway, but you don't need the best organization or planning skills to do a gap year. But in saying that, you'll have a lot of free time to yourself and you gotta choose what you wanna do in your time. At the very minimum, yeah, you gotta know what you wanna accomplish in the year. Have some sort of goal. So is it self-discovery? Do you wanna learn some corporate skills that will be helpful for jobs? Do you want to learn some valuable marketplace skills? In order for the gap year to be valuable, it has to be purposeful and productive. Otherwise, it's just pointless. The second bad reason not to take a gap year is costs versus value. You need to think of your gap year as an extension of your academics. Yes, it will improve your academic performance and your experience if you do ever go back to formal education, but it's much deeper than that. It's more about learning how to live a more purposeful and meaningful life, and that you will discover in your gap year, hopefully, if you've spent it productive enough. That's something that the school syllabus has not taught anybody, and it's kind of sad. You gotta get a job, you gotta save up, you gotta, you know, get creative and frugal with like your spendings and yeah, be smart with your finances. If you're looking to invest in an online course that will help you improve your skills in a particular creative field like photography, film, art, you can explain to your parents that university in 2020 is just an expensive live streaming service because lectures are online. It's kind of like everything online. You learn everything online anyway. So you're paying, what, 9.2 grand? For lectures online whereas online courses will be significantly cheaper than that and it'll probably bring more value to you so explain that to your parents and who knows maybe they'll be able to fund those online courses for you the final bad reason to not take a gap year in 2020 is that you'll feel left behind i mean yeah you'll see the people you grew up with from to from primary school secondary school to sixth form go into university yeah but you'll be that person who decided, hey, university may not be for me. I wanna be able to take a step back, see what I like, pursue one of my hobbies, and maybe try and make money out of it. Another plus side is while your friends are getting drunk, going to parties, you will be working on your grind or pursuing something that you want to pursue, you get me? You should be proud that you decided to take a step back to follow your dreams or to really take a break from like, this messed up education system. And in my opinion, after we all finish secondary school, no one should be feeling left behind. Everyone will peak and mature at different times, like Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, all these amazing people, right? And all, and like a bunch of sportsmen. I mean, Kobe Bryant peaked and got into the NBA when I think it was 17. Overall, I strongly support the idea of a gap year. Like, I really, really do. So that's why, you know when I said last week, if you watched that video, I said I'll make a video on why you shouldn't take a gap year, but I just couldn't because there's just so many benefits and especially in 2020, since everything is online. All right, I think I'm gonna end the video there. Safe. So.